Namaste everyone. This video shows how to prepare two modak recipes and one rice recipe. The modak recipes use sprouted rice flour and uh, the rice recipe uses pomegranate molasses. For folks who are interested in knowing how to sprout brown rice and to prepare wet sprouted rice flour as well as dry sprouted rice flour, the later part of the video shows them. This video shows how to prepare modak using sprouted rice flour. First, soak two tablespoons of chana dal for four hours. Cook for 15 minutes. Other ingredients are sprouted rice flour, coconut palm sugar, one extra ripe banana. Mash the banana, add two tablespoons of coconut palm sugar, mix well. Add one cup of sprouted rice flour, mix well. Add cardamom powder and uh, chana dal, mix well into soft dough. The dough can be made into modaks using molds or can be made into round balls. The ingredients provided will make 10 modaks. Boil the water in a steaming pot and place the modaks on the steaming plate. Cover the pot with a muslin cloth and place the lid on it. Steam cook for 20 minutes. Let the modaks cool for 10 minutes and then remove them onto a plate. This video shows how to prepare modak using wet sprouted rice flour and sweet red bean filling. Soak red beans for 24 hours, wash thoroughly, cook using two cups of water in a pressure cooker until seven vessels. Mash the cooked beans, add two cups of raw sugar and cook till it becomes a soft paste. Add 1 cup water, 1 tablespoon raw sugar and 1 4 teaspoon salt to a pan. Mix well, bring to a boil. Add 2 cups of wet rice flour and 1 tablespoon ghee. Slowly mix the flour into the water. Cook on low heat till it becomes a lump. Make small discs using the dough. Place stuffing in the center and shape them into modaks. Steam cook the modaks for 20 minutes. This video shows how to prepare a variation of tamarind rice where pomegranate molasses is used instead of tamarind paste. Pomegranate molasses has a sour taste and is sold in bottles. Take two tablespoons of pomegranate molasses in a bowl, add salt and turmeric, mix thoroughly. Two cups of cooked basmati rice is used in this recipe. Add oil or ghee to the pan and add all the ingredients for the tempering. Saute till they are browned. Add the pomegranate molasses to the pan and let it cook for a few minutes till the raw smell is gone. Turn off the heat and add the rice. Mix everything well and let it sit for a few minutes. Pomegranate molasses rice is ready to be served. This video shows how to make wet sprouted rice flour. Soak organic, non-irradiated, non-GMO brown rice for 24 hours. Wash the rice every 6 hours. Wash the soaked rice thoroughly and place it in a colander. Place the colander on a bowl that can catch any drained water. Cover the colander with a cheesecloth and place it in a dark place. Depending on the temperature, Sprouts should form in 12 to 18 hours. Wash the sprouted rice, drain it and spread it on a cloth. Let it air dry for one hour. Add small quantities of rice to a mixer jar and grind into a fine powder. Sift the ground flour and use it in recipes. The sprouted rice can be dried in the sun or it can be dried in a dehydrator. To dry in the sun, spread the sprouted rice on a cloth and leave it outside above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The rice should be dried in two or three days. It can be stored in an airtight container and used later. The homemade sprouted rice can be used to prepare dry sprouted 
rice flour. If there is access to a mill outside, then the rice flour can be milled over there. Otherwise, a home milk can also be used to prepare the rice flour. There are detailed videos on the channel. I will provide the links in the description box. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video.